In this video, we are given vectors written as the sum of unit vectors, and we will rewrite them in component form, and we will calculate their magnitude and direction. But first, we will do a quick review of a basic concept of trigonometry, which is finding missing angles. So for the first triangle, we have two missing angles, B and C. It doesn't matter which one you want to find first. Um, let's say we're going to go for angle C. From the perspective of angle C, the uh, side with the 4 on it is opposite. And of course, the 6 is the hypotenuse. So opposite, hypotenuse, that is the sine function. So I could say the sine of angle C is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So um, just reducing the sine of angle C is 2 thirds. And then we could say that angle C itself will be the inverse sine of 2 thirds. And then uh, we can use our calculator to evaluate that. So inverse sine of 2 thirds. Uh, you know what, let's make sure our calculator is in degree mode. Mine tends to reset to radian mode. Okay, so that's 41.8. I'll just do, well, 41.81. Let's do two decimal places. All right, 41.81 degrees. So we're very confident about that. So uh, when we go to find the other missing angle, angle B, uh, we can just subtract from 90. So um, the measure of angle B should be 90 minus 41.81. Of course, if I wanted to, I could have used the cosine of B, uh, which would be 4 over 6. Now, jumping over to the triangle on the right, let's see, if I want to find angle F, I could say the tangent of angle F is equal to um, opposite over adjacent, so that's 4 over 15. In that case, uh, the measure of angle F itself will equal the inverse tangent of 4 over 15. And uh, let's see what our calculator says about that. Inverse tangent of 4 over 15. So that's 14.93. OK. And again, we can find the other missing angle E by just subtracting from 90. So 90 minus 14.9. Seventy five point zero seven degrees. All right, now let's get started. So um, these vectors are written at, in um, unit vector form. We can easily convert them to component form. You know what? Let me zoom in. Just like this. Um, you see that negative 5 and the 2? Boom, component form. Uh, if we want the magnitude, we know that that's just going to be the square root of negative 5 squared plus 2 squared. So that's going to be the square root of 25 plus 4. So that's the square root of 29. Okay, you know what, maybe I'll put this all in a row. So here we have the magnitude. And uh, now I'm going to calculate the direction. So uh, the way we calculate the direction, let's start off with a quick sketch. And um, what quadrant are we in? According to the components here, we're going left 5 and up 2. 
So that puts us in the second quadrant. So let's draw ourselves a vector in the second quadrant. Okay, um, now this is left five. I'm gonna draw a triangle here, make a triangle out of it. Uh, here's my reference angle. And uh, we were left five and up two. So I can calculate the reference angle using tangent. So uh, the tangent of my reference angle uh, will be 2 over 5. I'm ignoring the negative because I just want the positive value of R. So um, 2 fifths. So to find the measure of angle R, it will be the inverse tangent of 2 fifths. That's 21.80 degrees. Okay, now let's compare that to the actual angle that we want as measured from the positive x-axis. So we will call this angle theta, and this is the actual direction of the vector. Um, so we're on our way to 180. Um, but we are stopping short by a measure of r degrees. So we should be able to find the measure of angle theta by doing 180 minus uh, r, so minus 21.80. So that's 158.2 degrees. All right, so those are the three things we were supposed to find. Component form, magnitude, direction. All right, let's do it again for problem number two. Okay, so let's start with component form. This is like 1i plus 6j. So in component form, we will simply have 1 comma 6. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and find the magnitude, which will simply be the square root of 1 squared plus 6 squared. So that's uh, 1 plus 36. So that's the square root of 37. All right. So that is the magnitude. All right. And now let's find that direction. This is uh, right 1 and up 6. That puts us in the first quadrant, so I will draw a vector into the first quadrant. If I sort of uh, make a triangle out of it, all right, around the reference angle, which is right here, let's remember that this is right one and up six. Obviously, the drawing's not to scale. I can calculate the measure of R. Um, by doing the tangent function. Now, I have to stop myself. Because this is in the first quadrant, uh, I don't actually have to, the, the reference angle and the actual uh, direction angle are the same. So I don't actually need to do the R business this time. Uh, I can immediately go ahead and say direction angle theta. All right, you can only do this when it's in the first quadrant. So I can go ahead and say the tangent of theta is going to equal 6 over 1. Uh, in other words, 6. So theta will equal the inverse tangent of 6. OK, so checking the calculator, inverse tangent of 6, that's 80.54. Got to round up. Okay, so 80.54 degrees. All right, so those are the three things we were supposed to find for number two. So for number three, the component form would be negative two comma negative four. So that's easy enough. 
the magnitude would be negative two squared plus negative four squared. So that's gonna be four plus 16. So that's the square root of 20. Uh, 20 is four times five, four being a perfect square. So that gives us two radical five for the magnitude. Okay, now let's talk direction. Let's make a little sketch. Um, this is going left two and down four. That puts us in the third quadrant. So let's draw a vector into the third quadrant. Um, let's make a little triangle out of it using the reference angle, which we will need. Um, so this was left two and down four. So that means that the tangent of the reference angle is four over two. All right, I'm just using the positive because I just want the positive value of r. Um, I'm just reducing here, so the tangent of r is equal to two, which means that the measure of angle r is going to be the inverse tangent of two. So let's use a calculator to figure that out. So the inverse tangent of two. That's uh, 63.43. 63.43 degrees. Now the actual direction of this uh, vector has to be measured from the positive x-axis counterclockwise like this. So that's 180 degrees plus the measure of angle r. So um, let's call this theta. So the direction theta will be 180 plus 63.43. So that gives us 243.43 degrees for the direction. So 243.43 degrees. So that's what we needed for number three. Number four, component form would be three comma negative seven. So that's done. The magnitude would be three squared plus negative seven squared. Square root of all that, so that's gonna be the square root of nine plus 49. So that's gonna be the square root of 58 which does not simplify. So the square root of 58 is the magnitude. All right, now let's talk direction. This is right three down seven. That puts us in the fourth quadrant. And uh, if I make a triangle out of it surrounding the reference angle, So remember this is right three and down seven. So that means the tangent of reference angle R will be seven over three. Again, I'm ignoring the negative sign because I just want a positive value of R. So R will equal the inverse tangent of seven over three. Calculator. That's 66.80. So now the actual angle that we want, the direction angle, theta, is measured from the positive x-axis like this. So this is on its way to 360, but stopping short by r. So that means theta should equal 360 minus r minus 66.80. That is 293.20 degrees. 
All right, that's the direction. All right, number five. Given the vector negative 8i plus j, that's our uh, unit vector form, the component form is negative 8 comma 1. So let's sketch this vector in standard position. So in standard position, that just means that it's going to be um, starting from the origin. So um, it needs to be going to the left 8 and up 1. Maybe I better make this a little bit longer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and up 1. OK, so in standard position, this would be the initial point, And the terminal point would be about here. So there you go. Next, um, what is the magnitude? Well, the magnitude should be the square root of negative 8 squared plus 1 squared. That's the square root of 60. Whoops, skipped a step. That's the square root of 64 plus 1, which is the square root of 65. That's the magnitude. What's the direction? Um, well, looking back at uh, another sketch here, so we are dealing, ha, that's crazy. I'm going to leave it. Uh, we're dealing with a vector that's jumping into the second quadrant. All right, this time I'm not drawing it to scale. I can draw a triangle around the reference angle. Why does this keep bending back and forth? Um, that's weird. I'm going to ignore it because I don't have time to deal with it. So here's my reference angle. Remember, this is supposed to be left 8 and up 1, drawing not to scale. We can find this reference angle uh, by doing the tangent. So the tangent of r is going to be 1 over 8. I'm ignoring the negative sign. I just want a positive value of r. It's all I need. So r will equal the inverse tangent of 1 eighth. So r will equal, let's check the calculator, inverse tangent of 1 eighth. That's 7.13, got to round up. OK, now the actual angle that we want, the direction angle, has to be measured from the positive x-axis. Let's call it theta. Theta was on its way to 180, but it had to stop short by a value of r. So in other words, theta should equal 180 minus r. So 180 minus 7.13. So that's 172.87 degrees. That's the direction. What is the component form? Well, we've been using that throughout the whole problem. It's uh, negative 8 comma 1. S number 6, let's uh, start by sketching this vector in standard position. Standard position relies on uh, starting from the origin. So that means we're going, going to need a uh, set of coordinate axes. So let's go ahead and draw that. OK, so there's my x and y axis. Now, um, this vector should be right 3 and down 9. Uh, so I might have to give myself more room in this direction. OK, uh, so let's uh, check it out. So I'm going to go right 3 and down 9. OK, so that means the uh, initial point of the vector in standard position has to be the origin. 
the terminal point is going to be about here. So uh, my sketch is going to look like this. Okay, now what is the magnitude? The magnitude will be the square root of 3 squared plus negative 9 squared. That is 9 plus 81. That is 90. So that is the square root of 9 times 10. 9 being a perfect square, so you get 3 root 10. That is the magnitude. What is the direction? Well, for the direction, we're going to need another sketch. I'll just make a fresh one real quick. Um, right 3 down 9, uh, that puts us in the fourth quadrant. So this time, I'm not going to worry about the scale. I'm just going to draw a vector into the fourth quadrant. I can make a triangle surrounding my reference angle. OK, and uh, it was right 3 and down 9. So I can find the reference angle r by doing the tangent of r, which will be 9 over 3. I'm ignoring the negative sign here. I just want the positive value of reference angle r. Um, just reducing now, uh, the tangent of r is going to equal 3. That means uh, the measure of angle r is going to equal the inverse tangent of 3. So let's consult the calculator and see what the calculator says about that. So the inverse tangent of 3. That is 71.57 degrees. OK, now, the actual direction angle must be measured from the positive x-axis counterclockwise all the way around. Let's call it theta. Theta was on its way to 360 degrees, but it had to stop short by a value of r. In other words, theta should equal 360 degrees minus the measure of r, minus 71.5. Seven. So that is 288.43 degrees for the direction. Um, what is the component form? Well, we've been using that the entire time. We started off with 3i minus 9j. So the component form is simply 3 comma negative 9. Hey guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click over here to watch the next video. And click over here to subscribe. That way you'll get every new video delivered right to your home screen.